Hey there, what's going on? It's Mr. Jim again. We're going to do some other fun guitar skill practice here. Other fun techniques that you could use to really create a more dynamic, unique uh, experience as it comes to playing the guitar. We're going to use it in different ways. Really fun. Alright, so first we're going to practice finger picking. No, we're not going to pick our fingernails like this, but it's rather using, we're going to just do a simple finger picking with two fingers, like your pincher fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger. And what I want us to do is do our thumb on the top string, your low E string, and then your pointer finger on the bottom E string. And we don't even need to hold anything down right now. We're just going to go between pointer, or thumb, and then pointer. Just back and forth. This is like finger picking. We don't use a pick for this. That's why it's called finger picking, using your fingers sort of as the pick. All right, now let's get a little faster. See what we're doing? This is like finger picking. We're doing thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer. And I'm just working on those two fingers, none other ones. The other ones could be on the guitar like that, kind of as a guide for extra stability with these strings these, and these fingers. All right. Let's do it slow again. Not that difficult, right? So now we're going to add in the top and bottom string of the third fret we're going to hold down. Why? Because that's like a variation of a G chord. So... If you were to play all of them out really nicely like that, you could play it like that or one by one. It's a variation of a G chord. A traditional G chord is like this. But this is a variation of a G chord as well. Top string, bottom string, both of the third fret. And now we're going to take the same picking pattern we were doing like this and play it top and bottom. Slow. All right, we're gonna play thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer. Let's see if we can get it to go a little faster. Very nice. Can we go even faster? Nice job on that. Now let's take it off and just play zero, right? It means top and bottom string open without holding anything down. Now let's put that back on the third fret. It's this nice transition. You're basically playing an E minor to a G when you're doing this. So you're finger picking right off the bat using two chords, E minor and then G. Back to E minor. Back to G. E minor, right? And you can have a field day with that back and forth. We're just going to work on that for now. Simple way to finger pick. Just toggle between your pointer on the top, or your thumb on the top string, your pointer on the bottom string. Thumb on the top, pointer on the bottom. Some people might tell to use other fingers, but I kind of like using those two, your pincher fingers, if you all right, so we could do the same thing. You can even, I like to call that plucking, just the top and bottom strings at the same time. That's it. So you could do a little bit of. pluck the top and bottom strings, trying not to get the other ones. So then you can move it I don't know, to the 5th fret, move it to the 7th, move it to the 8th, 10th, 12th, 14th, and 15th. Why? Because that's do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Just by using that pattern of playing the top and bottom strings at the same time, kind of plucking the strings.
reverse it. 15, 14, 12, 10, 8, 7, 5, 3. Very cool, right? So we got 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. And then reversing it. 15, 14, 12, 10, 8, 7, 5, 3. Pretty cool when you think of it like that. And then you could, if you want to, top and bottom, and work your way all the way up the guitar. Now I'm on 7, let's go to 8. So it's 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, this works really well, in the key of G where you're in, 12, 14, and then 15. Or you could simply just stay 0 and then 3. Stay right on zero and practice that thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer, thumb pointer. Pretty cool when you think about it. Moving it all over the guitar, plucking a little bit too, which is another skill. Sometimes you might want that in a song. All right, so here's another thing that's kind of added on to finger picking. We're going to learn a little bit of slap guitar. So we're not going to smack it like that. No, you can. Sometimes I do this. on it like that too but I'm thinking more of playing finger um, a slap in the guitar like this I'm kind of hitting right below where all the strings are you're kind of good you're gonna be uh, going on to the strings a little bit but you want it not to just to smack right in the center of the strings because you could probably it's an easier way to break the strings if you smack really hard on directly onto the strings so I'm gonna just go off shoot a little bit right below that's what I usually do. So if I'm playing Stand By Me, this is kind of like finger picking with slap guitar, right? So I just think of doing a rhythm and then hitting right below. So try that. Try the second string from the top, an A string, just A slap. A, then slap right below where all the strings sort of are. You are going to touch the strings a little bit, but you want to make sure you hit right below the strings. It's actually right below the sound hole that's there. That big circle, right? Now let's move it somewhere else, right? I'm playing the bass line from Stand By Me. So you could do that, right? Where you just, and you use one finger, and you slap, let's say. Top string, and just slap right below the sound hole. You're gonna to touch the strings a little bit, like I said. Try not to touch the strings right in the middle of where all the strings are, because there's a higher chance to break them that way. You don't wanna do that. You wanna be able to play guitar for a long time. All right, so we got that, right? Very cool. So that's a way to play a little bit of what's called slap guitar. Pretty fun. And you could, of course, do what I was doing earlier, where you play a chord, let's say the A chord, and you almost use it like a, like a percussion instrument, right? I like doing that. It kind of creates like I have a duo or a trio playing with me, even though it's just me. All right. So fun way to play the guitar. Let's work on harmonics now. Harmonics are really cool. You can find them mainly on the 5th fret, the 7th fret, the 12th fret, 
and then the 19th fret, believe it or not. You can find them on the 3rd fret, too, if you're using an electric guitar, it's a little bit easier. And in addition to that, other places where you might be able to find them as well if you play the guitar in such a way. But a simple way to find harmonics is to go to the 5th fret first. And what we're going to do is we're going to rest our finger on top of the string, but don't actually press it down the whole way like you're going to play a legitimate note. We're going to just kind of rest it on top. And you want to be almost like you're about to get onto the sixth fret. So that silver bar that goes up and down, that you see right here, the silver bar here and a silver bar here, that's, that was right in the middle of that is the fifth fret, right? So we want to be almost like we're getting to the sixth fret. You want to put your finger right on that silver bar and play the string. You hold it down, well, you don't hold it down tightly, you just rest it on top and play the top string. Try it with me. And ooh, is a harmonic of that. Do it on the next string. Ooh, how about the next one? So if you go through all the strings, Should sound like that. Now you can get real fancy and try to play them all at the same time, resting your finger on top of the fret like that and go. You can get some of them in there and it kind of resonates, which is really cool. Does that make sense? Hope it does. And now we're going to get to the next one where you can find them is on the seventh fret. So we just did the fifth fret. Now we're going to find them on the seventh fret. Same exact idea. You want to go almost like you're going to the 8th fret, but you want to stay right in the middle of the 7th fret. For me, it's, it's the third uh, white dot on my guitar on this side. You see, this is the first one right here. This is the second one, and then this is the third one over here. And this third one is my 7th fret. So it's a guide to help me. You can hear these pretty well in the 7th fret. And then a string right below it, a string right below that. Nice, and keep going. These are pretty clear on this fret. Those almost sound exactly like that note, just a couple octaves higher, because we're doing the harmonic. It's resting your finger on top of the string, but not actually pressing it down the whole way to play a musical note like that. So you rest it right on top. It's about the strength in your fingers, knowing when to really push down hard, knowing when to let back a little bit. It's about muscle control, really. Pretty cool. Now try them all at the same time. Pretty cool. You can hear it resonating, right? So we did the 5th fret, 7th fret, and we're going to go to the 12th. Ooh, I just did... To me, the twelfth is the easiest one to get a full like resonation of all of the strings in a harmonic at the same time. So let's do twelve. Which is really cool. Sounds just like those. This is the closest where it sounds pretty much spot on with it. Like it's almost the identical note, right? Really cool. Try them all at the same time like that. Rest your finger all the way on every single, any finger you want. I would prefer the middle finger or the ring finger since those are usually the, the biggest ones uh, on your finger. At least they are for me. My ring finger, my middle, my middle finger is definitely the longest. Um, it could be different for you depending on your fingers. And go through 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. One by one. So we've done the fifth fret, seventh, now the twelfth. Now let's do the nineteenth. My goodness, that's really far up there. That's a really nice one as well. And so 12, usually there's a dot on 15 for me, and then there's another dot on 17, so if I, there's no more dots to help you out as a guide like there are on my guitar, 
you just count two more from 17 and that's where your 19th is. You want to be in between the 19th and the 20th on that one. So we found them on the 5th fret, the 7th fret, the 12th fret, nice, and then the 19th fret. Very nice. So those are called harmonics. A higher version of a note that already exists. And notes that are really interesting to get. It's about control of your fingers, muscle control, knowing uh, kind of where to place your fingers, right? You place them in on the fret that you're about to go to almost, like on that silver bar, the, the actual uh, bar that goes up and down that, make, that makes the fret. So if you're on the fifth fret, you want to be like right on top of that, right? If you're on the seventh fret, you want to be like right on top of that one. If you're on the 12th fret, you almost want to be on the 13th fret, right? And then the 19th would be like way up here, almost on the 20th. So just some fun things to think about. Different ways of playing the guitar like that. All right. So we got two more activities I want to try with you. They're going to involve the electric guitar because it's just a little bit easier to hear the sound a little bit better and it's a little bit more fluid with the electric guitar. So here we go. Let's get the electric. We're going to do what's called finger tapping. We're not just going to tap our finger up here, though we could. We're going to use our whatever hand we're going to play notes with here. I'm going to go... Simple way to do this. I'm on the 7th and 8th fret going on the B string. Okay, so try that for me first. Try... Pointer finger and middle finger doing this. Then you're gonna get... We're gonna go... Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ee. Seven, eight, seven, eight, ten, eight, seven, eight. So that's what I did there. Seven, eight, seven, eight, ten, eight, seven, eight. Then I got my pinky involved there. Now, you can come to the 12th fret with your other hand, your picking hand. You normally have a picking hand, but since it's finger tapping, just like finger picking, we're going to just use our finger and not a pick. Okay? So... That might change a little bit when we get into finger tapping. I'm going to be tapping the 12th fret, same string that I'm holding down, the B string. I'm not moving my pointer finger at all and I'm going between 7, 8 so it's like 12 12 and I'm going really fast sort of like that Kind of doing this. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, ten, really. Seven, eight, seven, ten on repeat. And adding in the pointer finger. Let's move this to the 14th and go. So I start on the 12th, 14th, 
14, 15, 17, 19, 20. So it's really interesting, you could do finger tapping, and it sounds like you're playing like really fast, like by picking really fast, but you're using your finger on the part of the process to make it to give the illusion that you're playing crazy fast. Yes, this is fast. You're just tapping on the fret that you want to go to, and in this key, the one I'm working in, you want to be on 12, 14, 15, 17, 19, 20, and then if you have 22, you can get there. <laughs> I My 22 doesn't really sound like anything, but the idea is, even if you just want to do this, 12, 7, 8, right? So you're doing 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 7, 10, 7. cool right so it's called finger tapping have a lot of fun with that start slow and then work your way to going faster and you can move that all around the guitar just try to find some places that sound good to you uh, I like using the B string the G string is also kind of a nice one to get some good ones on really fun all right so now we're going to try what's called hammer-ons and pull-offs. Hammer-on is going like this. Strumming once and letting Strumming once but actually playing two notes. So it's like zero, three, and if you were to play it somewhere else, like three, five, it'd be like You're just moving your the note from here to here but only strumming once. So that's called a uh, hammer on. All right, let's try it. Ready? Zero, three on the A string. Now three, five on the A string. I know we want to do. sake of this learning what a hammer on is you just strum once and then get those two notes right and then three five strumming once and then moving one finger from here to here yeah pretty neat stuff that's a hammer on and a pull off is when you go when you have the note already on there so it's like and then you strum once and you pull off that note on that same string. So, hammer on, pull off. Hammer on, pull off. The difference is that a pull off, you already have the note that you're playing on the guitar, on physically on the guitar, and then pulling off of it. And the hammer on is you're playing a note, and then you're going on to it like that. A quick little thing that is going to involve hammer-ons and maybe pull-offs too. So I want you to try this. I want you to start. We're going to be on the A string, just on the second fret, 0, 2, 0, 2. On the D string, 0, 2 on the G string. So, And then 0, 2 again on the D string. So it's 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2. D string, G string, D string. And I like this a lot because you can get into a really cool rhythm and, and really work maybe a couple fingers or one finger super fast and go. Really fun. And of course, I get a little bit fast with it there. But I'm only strumming on the string once and doing repeating that. Pretty fun, right? And what's neat about this too is you can go even faster and go. I'm 
going like this on every string now. Zero, two, zero, really quickly. And I'm doing that on every string. That we were just doing it on. So the A, D, and G string back to D string is literally going zero, two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, two, zero, and then on repeat. So it sounds really, really fast and it's fun. fun stuff little hammer-ons and pull-offs too awesome stuff that's what I have for us today as far as uh, playing some other fun different activities to warm up and just have fun exploring the guitar in different ways we have right we did finger picking on here we played slap guitar and we also used harmonics on the acoustic guitar right harmonics is on the fifth seventh twelfth and nineteenth fret and you can even find them on the third if you're using an electric guitar and there's some other spots too if you really uh, playing gentle in certain areas, but those are the main spots you can find them. And in addition to that, we played a little uh, finger tapping on here and learned what a hammer on and a pull off was and had a little bit of fun with a neat activity there. So enjoy yourselves. Thanks so much for tuning in. You never know what to expect on the guitar this time, right? Who knows what'll come next time and maybe different instruments. Just some fun ways to warm up, fun ways to explore the instrument. Peace and love. Thumbs up. A okay. Cowbunga and rock and roll. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.